So now, let us work with custom environment inside of Element 3D. So in order to work with custom environment, let me just drag in the Element 3D plugin right here. And I'm going to go to the scene setup so I can work with the custom environment. So I'm going to simply create a um, primitive object right here. Okay, I'm just going to choose this capsule right here. And uh, I'm going to press OK so that the capsule comes in over here. So I need uh, something for the custom environment. So I'm going to go into the scene setup and make sure that this object is reflective so that I can see the environment. And this is the default environment that I have right over here. So I'm going to go into the preset. I'm going to go into some shiny material that I can choose some, something like a metal or so forth. So I can see the environment. I'm going to click and drag this brass metal right here. And then that will be replaced. All right, so I need to replace it properly, just like that. And there you go. You can see that there's the environment reflecting upon the object right here. So I'm going to go over here onto the environment and select one preset environment right here. So I can go over here, go into any of the environment of my cho choice, press open, and there you go. There's my environment right over there. But this is the preset environment. So what I want to do is I want to work with something that I have uh, over here in After Effects. So I can go into project. I can simply uh, import a file right here. And I'm going to go on to my Tutu folder right here to select a picture of my choice. So here I have some pictures and I'm going to select this picture right here and I'm going to import it up. So I'm going to bring this on to this layer right here. And what I want to do is change this into a custom layer. So this is my environment. Let me scale this down so that you can see the environment right here. But you can see that the reflection does not look right on the object. And it doesn't seem as if the object belongs to the environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the element 3D layer right here. I'm going to go on to the effect controls menu. And over here in the custom menu, the custom layers, I'm going to go into the texture map and select this layer right here. So I'm going to go over here and select the image right there. So now once I do that, I'm going to go back onto scene setup. And in the scene setup, this is the environment. And now I'm going to go into the environment setting. Once I do that, I'm going to expand this out and choose the custom layer one. And you can see that now that environment appears over here. So once you see that, you can see that there are some artifacts over here. So that, that is because this is not an SDRI image. SDRI images are actually seamless, but this is this does not really matter because we can scoot this over anyway. So um, I can just press OK and now you can see now it in um, the object reflection matches with the environment. So I'm going to uh, uh, choose a camera right here. I'm going to go into the unified camera tool and drag around and you can see that the environment is there just like that. So if I were to scroll this around, you can see that the reflection is according to what is there in the environment. If you can see this artifact, you can actually rotate the environment from over here. So I can simply go over here in the render setting and the physical environment setting and you'll be able to see the option to rotate the environment so i can simply rotate this out until i don't get that artifact anymore so you can see that i can rotate this out right here let's rotate the environment and there you go get to the reflection which does not have any seamless errors right there so that is one way of working with the environment another one is to simply import a custom environment right from the element 3d itself so you can go over here and then go to the environment and instead of going to the custom layer just click on load from file and then navigate on to that folder so i, so I can go to the tt2 folder right here and then choose a picture that you like press open and there you go, there's the custom environment, just like that, with all the reflections and everything out there. So that is how you can work with custom environments inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.